My name is Kaolati. My middle name is Aparang Sening Basui. I was born and raised in Kanya. That's where I grew up the whole of my life. My mother and father were farmers. So even though I'm so much used to, used to staying in town, I'm a village girl. The arts in Botswana has long been regarded as something that you can do as an extra real activity. When government of Botswana started, they were more interested in promoting academic education because it was convenient in a way for government to do that because we had just acquired independence and we needed people who can work in the offices, who can improve the economy. And at the time, academic uh, qualifications were the ones that were regarded as a step forward in the development of the Botswana economy. So I was doing it just as an extra human activity. When I was still working, doing some other things like that, I was doing arts related work. I started with choral choir singing. I didn't know I can be a very good actress until when I was in secondary school. I liked imitating people, including the teachers. And one of my English teachers was telling me that, you know what, you can make a very good actress. And I liked watching dramas and all that. But then, yes, when I finished school, I started to watch drama and took interest in acting. So when he came up with Mubarak, he said, let's put together all the Busana dancing. So that when a visitor comes, you can tell them, okay, this type of dance, you can see it from this area, this other one, you can see from that area, and this one, so and so on, and encourage other groups to do the same. So you use that dance to keep young people together. We had registered a company called Lewa Cultural Commission. Then we wanted specifically now to carry more on the room, not as just a traditional dance that was volunteering to do the promotion of a, a traditional song dance. And then we met, we did a television series called Medina Mom and one of the actors. I also uh, acted in the number one ladies detective agency movie, but I did a very small role, very minor role. I was acting as Mara Mutsu's aunt. Then that was the, the, the pilot project in 2007. When they came back to do the series in 2008, I then worked there at the cultural office. I have a soft spot for children. I have a soft spot for young people. If I encourage young people to do things, we have developed. Let me not say that. We have developed. Lots and lots of people do the farm. Moana is the only group whose young people did traditional dance and were given the opportunity to go and learn about traditional instruments playing. The little money that we were getting, uh, we got paid with. Instead of giving it to them because it was so little that they can't do anything, we invested into training them into something else that will make them do something for themselves when they leave Moana. And you know what? A lot of people who are doing something on their own are those who came through Mohan. I feel very happy that I carried on and made young people to be who they are. A lot of them, and them are benefiting out of what they get from Mohan. So that makes me very happy. Because my, our intention was not to, you know, groom them to Mohan. It was to give them the opportunity to see what is happening outside Mohan and they can move on. So most of them have moved on and I'm happy. If I still have the energy, I'll still be more.